question for you. Are you taking the vaccine? Um, in my community board on next door, a lot of people are looking for locations to take the vaccine. I'm kind of on the fence. I don't really know what I'm going to do because I am one of the people at risk. I'm 54 years old. I had a heart attack. And, you know, all that stuff's under control. But it's a lot to think about. So put in the comments, are you getting this vaccine? And, you know, part of that is there's a dual dose and there's a single dose and there's a lot of stuff that's going on. So at the moment, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But let's talk about unemployment. Unemployment is steadily holding at close to 800,000 people per week. We're in the sixth week of 2021. So we've had 800,000 people laid off every week since the beginning of the year and before that, but we're just talking about this year. So each 800,000, each two weeks is 1.6 people or 3 million people laid off each month. So we're at almost 4 million people laid off in the beginning of this year. Now, what does that mean and what does that represent? First of all, the economy is still quite bumpy. And this is information that they're going to use, that the Biden administration is going to use to try to push through another stimulus. I fully expect another stimulus package this year. And these unemployment numbers are part and parcel for that. Because here's the thing. We are almost a year into this and we still have people being laid off at rates that are higher than the peak of the Great Recession. The Great Recession peak numbers was 600 and something, almost 700,000 people. That was the peak. We're well above that and we've been well above that for this whole year. So I fully expect another stimulus package. I fully expect some more stimulus to come out of Congress because essentially Congress, you know, the Democrats have two years to ram their agenda through before another election can change the complexion and the power base of the House, the Senate, and the Senate. The House and the Senate, the presidency, you know, he has four years to do what he wants to do. But I've been really looking at the unemployment I know people, personally know people who have been looking for jobs for months. And I have one friend, she can see me find a job, just like, you know, quit a job, find a job. But I have about eight friends that I know that have been looking for jobs for months. Now, here's the, the problem that they have. They are single mothers. And this is something that this economy is killing, is single mothers. With the pandemic, with the layoffs, with the um, distance learning, their kids not going to school, their kids are learning online at home. This has put many, many women in a very vulnerable position. And I have a friend I was talking to last night and she's a single mother, has two kids and she was like, she hasn't worked for six months. You know, she got the unemployment. And fortunately, to her credit, she has a lot of savings. And she can feel that she can hold out another six months before it gets critical. But, you know, she was just telling me that she doesn't know if she wants to go back to work. Because she's like, you know, she's at home with the kids, she's been helping their education, she said their behavior has gotten better. So it is, this, this economy is really highlighting a lot of issues and problems that we had. Remember in 2019, 2018, 2017, I was telling you guys this recession was coming. I did not know about this pandemic. Thing. I did not know about that. However, I did know that the economy was weak. 
And this is a big problem that a lot of folks don't understand, that the economy was weak. And this is why when this pandemic thing happened, it was such a big blow to people. It was such a pivotal and knockout blow to many people in many industries. Um, it's very interesting. You know, for those of you who can keep in track, well, I've been selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace and I've been selling stuff on Craigslist. I recently sold $5,000 worth of stuff on Craigslist for the month of February and $1,000 worth of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're reselling, you need to be posting on Craigslist, you need to be posting on Facebook Marketplace. I had all items posted on both platforms and Craigslist pulled way, way ahead. So with people being unemployed and looking for additional sources of income, I'm beginning to see the predatory nature of online marketers. I was watching this commercial and this girl, I'm a stay at home mom and I had my first sale after three days of being in the program, 3,500. And to me that is unconscionable. People don't have extra money to blow on BS. And uh, I haven't pulled the trigger. I, I gotta sit down and think about it, but I'm probably gonna buy into it so I can report on what this thing is doing and how does it work because uh, I actually did some research on this, the cash code process something something.com. And they're running ads on YouTube, but their website isn't getting enough hits to show up in similar web. So they're getting less than 100,000 hits per month. So I don't really, it's kind of hard to guess what they're making in terms of profitability. But I think the number of scams. Also, I applied for the PPP about two weeks ago. I ain't heard nothing. So I did some research. They still have money, so I might get that PPP money. Um, you know, let's talk about that. Last year when this whole thing started, I was on that rah-rah stuff. You know, business owner, I'm doing well. I don't need this PP money. I don't need this EDL money. That was a miscalculation on my part. I should have went ahead and got that money like Grant Cardone and other people because essentially it was free money and it was stimulus money for those of us who are businesses. So that was a, that was a critical miscalculation because I probably could have got the EDIL, ED, EDIL money and the PPP money and like, you know, lessons learned because remember earlier i said that there's going to be additional stimulus i feel that because so many people are being laid off and businesses are being hurt that the stimulus is going to come back in more edil money because i think there's three ways to get money if you have a business there's the edil, EDIL there's the ppp money and i think there's a form of grants so once again if you are a corporate citizen, there's money out there for you. And like I said, uh, I applied through PayPal. So we will see what will happen. Uh, well, I don't know because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some people getting funded in like three days. We're waiting on two days, two weeks. I'll go ahead and check the dashboard today to see what's going on with that. But, you know, I don't really need the money, but I'm going to be like everyone else. I'm going to go for the money grab while it's out there. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab it because essentially right now, and some of you have seen the ads, I'm, 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 I'm toying around with ads. And um, the first few were absolute failures. Uh, I got one that's kind of performing. I've got one ad that's doing pretty well and I had to redo the webinar for the third time. And if you're in the corporate toolbox, you know exactly what's going on because I've uploaded that training. And it's very interesting because, you know, if you're gonna run ads, you have to watch ads because I am seeing ads that I know are not going to do well. Just, just knowing what I know about running ads. Uh, I saw this one ad is for uh, non-university. 
And also, I don't know what kind of spin that they they have. So that's a part of it, but the ad is very long and it, 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 it's like the guy is conflicted because he's like showing his house and he's like, I hate that I have to show you my house. I don't want to be one of these gurus. I don't want to be showing my, but he's actually showing his house. And let's talk about that. Um, my first ads that I just showed me talking didn't do that well. But when I introduced the Porsche and the ATM receipt, that ad went from a 20 something percent view rate to a 40 something percent view rate. So flexing and stunting works. It just does. I mean, you know, people could say, hey, you shouldn't have to do that. But this is what I have found out from my research because I've got a bunch of failed ads. I've got a bunch of failed webinars. And uh, this is what I'm going to be working on this month because it's a game changer. Once you get an ad that works, man, that's like cooking with gas. So I'm also thinking of some new training and, you know, put in the comments some things that you would like to see because, you know, we have the corporate toolbox, which is doing really well. The art of holding, which did really well. Um, I'm thinking about creating some stuff for disruptive mail, putting together that. I, I need to pay some more attention to my folks at disruptive mail because, uh, you know, a lot of time goes into this channel and a lot of time goes into Savage Finance and really working on this because, you know, this is a pivotal year as I talked about in the beginning. And over there in Savage Finance is a video talking about your money window. Many people don't know that they have a money window. And this is why this unemployment is so bad and dangerous because many people are suffering. Like my friend I was talking to, she has been laid off six months. Do you know for every month that you've been laid off, it could take you a year to get back to where you were? I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know this stuff. They, they, they're experiencing it, they're feeling it, but they really don't know how bad this is because right now my friend she has a savings account she's on unemployment but her her savings account is going down and it took her years to build this and if you don't understand you have a Monday window go to Savage Finance check out that video um, one of the things I want you guys to understand is starting a business is the best investment that you can make for yourself and you know uh, someone put in there most businesses fail actually that's not true 20 percent of businesses fail the first year so that means 80 percent of businesses make it um it is the fastest way to wealth it's faster than bitcoin it's faster than stocks now there have been some recent events with game stock and um amc theater these are corporate gambits playing by hedge funds and this is the first time the little man was able to get in the game. Let me tell you what I think happened. I feel that another hedge fund got on the side of the Redditors because essentially I was listening to the Wall Street, Chapper, Wall Street Trapper and some other people and they don't believe it was the retail investors that moved the market. He said they don't have enough money. And I did a simple calculation. I was like, because the average person has 5,000 and there was like 3 million Redditors, right? So if you do 2.2.5 million, 2,250,000 2, 2, 2, people times 5,000, that's a billion dollars. So let's say they had $1.2 billion. They didn't have enough money to move the market. They didn't have enough money. So to the Wall Street, to the Wall Street Trappers analysis, I feel that another hedge fund went on the side of the Redditors and put in three or four or five billion and shifted the market. So in the future, I feel that Wall Street bets, because I think there's like 8.2 um, million people over there now. So they will, once again, if they can stay, if they can be organized, and th this is the thing. One of the things I've seen with the stock market is everyone is a cowboy. Everyone wants to do their own thing. 
So, but if they, because I think the original group of Wall Street uh, betters were really organized and they had solidarity. And if they can maintain that and grow to about 15 million people, and then they come together with three to five billion in collective uh, money, I think they could do a lot of stuff. But it's a matter of building that organization and keeping the discipline and keeping the rules, which, you know, I've been here on the YouTubes and I've been seeing all kinds of stuff. And you know, some about the Wall Street Trapper, he's a good dude. Um, a lot of people got pissed off at him when he jumped into GameStop, but he didn't tell his people what he was doing. And he, he's like, I am not bringing my people into a burning house. And I really agree with that because this is one of the reasons that, you know, I, I got a comment and to Rizzy, shout out to Rizzy who actually provided some receipts. First person in 12 years to actually provide some receipts and what they were saying in the comments. So shout out to Rizzy. Um, one of the things that, you know, let's talk about this Bitcoin thing. I don't hate Bitcoin. I hate the fanatic religion around Bitcoin. I've seen a lot of people lose a lot of money playing this game. And now the game has shifted to where Elon Musk has gotten into it. And essentially, he's playing the game you can't play because you don't have enough money. And he's also 100% protected. If Bitcoin goes to zero, Elon Musk risked less than a percent of his total wealth. Less than a percent. So if it goes bust, Elon Musk is not going to be eating the lonely sandwiches. He's, he's going to be like, oh, well, that didn't work. And his life will continue on. And Tesla will not be harmed. I, I really think that when they sat down and did this, that they figured out what amount they could risk and if it went bad. Because Elon Musk, you don't start multiple billion dollar companies by being stupid. You know, he may smoke a weed on the Joe Rogan show. He may do some stuff, but at his core, He's a very intelligent dude. So here's the thing. And like for me, I got something that's working. So I'm not running over here to the Bitcoin or the crypto. I got something that's working. And I feel that so many people who are getting into crypto are getting into crypto on a hope, a wing, and a prayer because they don't have no money. That's what I feel. And that's what I hate because going back to these ads that are preying on people's vulnerabilities, like this, this cash code thing. I mean, it's just people opening up envelopes, pulling out money. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to sell anything. All I gotta do is sit and wait until I get an envelope with some cash or a check in it. And from, you know, 20 years of being an entrepreneur, it don't work like that. It doesn't. But I know that. I know that. But let's say you're one of the people who has been, uh, life has been turned upside down by this pandemic. Um, you don't know that. And you're, let, let me tell you, at one point in my life, I was desperate. I was really, really desperate. You know what I did? I had $200. You know what I did with my $200? I went to the little quick mart and I spent $200 on scratch-offs. First time ever telling this story. And I just felt, because I was desperate, I was pressed, and I just felt erroneously that I was going to make some money. So I bought $200 worth of scratch-offs, and I lost $120. Only 80 of them uh, cashed out. $80 cashed out of 200, so I lost 120. And I learned a very valuable lesson. Just because you feel, just because you hope, just because you have needs, doesn't mean that things are gonna work out your way. Uh, Cause essentially this is something I see with a lot of single mothers. Someone needs to help me with these kids. Um, not necessarily. You had those children and it's your responsibility and you don't seem to understand that it's your responsibility. You wanna share that responsibility with someone else and typically uh, a lot of people are not feeling that so yeah that was my desperate moment because essentially i'm trying to create my ads 
to be attention getting because if you don't get someone's attention you can't sell to them i mean that's just 100 percent. i'm finding that out so i'm trying to be get the attention and also to be honest and to tell people what i can do the training and offering that i can give them that i can help them make some money so that's the challenge that we're going on and I'm probably gonna start doing these kind of like little reports because unemployment is something you should keep your eye on because if people are getting laid off, that means businesses are not doing well. And businesses are not doing well, that means businesses are close to shutting down, business owners are losing their business, business owners are losing their income, business owners are losing their employees, and it is a wicked, wicked cycle. Fortunately, it's not a cycle that I've gone through but once again, this is one of the reasons I did the video at Savage Finance, why you need to have some cash. You know, Grant Cardone is telling everyone cash is trash. But if you listen to Grant Cardone's earlier videos, he talked about when he was working, when he was doing this business, he put a lot of cash in the bank. So it's like people, which I do understand that when people get to a certain level, they forget the path and the journey that got them there. Because I'll be honest, I am fundamentally disconnected from the average man. I am 100% disconnected from the average man. And this is one of the things that I have to work on because it is the average man that moves YouTube. It is the average person. It's not a, you know, there's a group of folks who are well off, but that's a small contingency of people. It's the average man that moves stuff. The average man that um, changes the world. So that's one of the things. But you know, I'm gonna start doing these like economic employee, uh, economic reports, and talk about what is going on because unemployment is a big, big signal. And let's go back to the 2007. That's when it started. The recession started in 2007. They didn't call it until 2008, and it went roaring in 2009. Do you understand there are people who have not recovered from that recession? There are many, many people who never recovered from that recession. And what we have going on now is deeper and bigger which means for long-term impacts because Janet Yellen and other people are like, you know, and Biden are saying, we need more stimulus. And the Republicans are saying, ah, oh, no, we don't need any more stimulus. The economy has snapped back. But if you look at these unemployment numbers compared to the last recession, they are way higher. They're like 200 to 300,000 people per week higher. And what did I just say? There are people from the last recession who did not recover. And we're gonna have people who are gonna fall down, they're gonna shift down in this global reset, and they're not gonna recover, and they're gonna be struggling for the next 10, 20, 30 years. So this is your economic report today from Hustlers Kung Fu. Hopefully you like it, let me know in the comments. And if you want to avoid the fate of unemployment and you wanna take, you know, take your own destiny in your hand, go below and join the corporate toolbox. I'll teach you how to set up a holding company. I will teach you how to set up operating companies, teach you how to set up a corporate structure, and teach you how to start a company from scratch. All of that's below. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.